G'day guys, I got the Blow 7 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install Replace Vehicle as an add on vehicle uh, in GTA 5. The only time you would need to do this is uh, if all the cars that you wanted to replace, specifically emergency vehicles like I'm doing, uh, if all the uh, default slots have been taken up and you want to add more, this is a perfect time where you would uh, change out the Replace Vehicle and make it sorry you would change you would convert this into an add-on vehicle so today i'm going to be installing the unmarked variant of this toyota orion um it's a, it's an aura car um i currently have the mark version in my game at the moment but i'm looking to spice some stuff up in some of my lspd if i can uh, patrols and um We'll actually look at doing some undercover stuff uh, out in the field. So, two mods that you oh, sorry, three mods that you'll definitely need prior to uh, even thinking about uh, putting this car in because you will experience crashes when uh, doing add on vehicles. You'll definitely need uh, an updated green config. Um, I think the one that I've got on at the moment is two times traffic, um, which is enough for this. I find that five times traffic. Tends to crash my PC a bit, but uh, I, I don't actually know the um, reasoning behind the different configs and that. But um, def this is definitely something that you would want. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've got like two times traffic uh, on, and uh, this one's a pretty simple install. It's as easy as drag and drop. However, the important stuff here is your heap adjuster and the pack file limit adjuster. You'll need both of those, and I think the heap adjuster one here, you can actually switch out for another one where you can customize your heap uh, limit. And um, I'll show you what mine is when we get into it, seeing as my game works perfectly fine. So with this, we'll uh, grab this. I've already done with it because I've installed it before. But uh, we'll go and we'll use... Uh, the unmarked one, I want the unmarked one, which is FBI. I've already got my FBI swapped out. Uh, we can find that one in here on the DLC packs. We can go down. There are some in here, like the 16 Challenger and that, that are add-ons. But those are proper add-ons that have been made for that. If we will go down to patch day 26, I'll show you an example of an add-on that we'll be doing. Uh, 64 levels GDA 5 vehicles RPF. So, as you can see, my FBI has been replaced by uh, it's an unmarked gear stinger. Um, this one's a private model. No, I will not be giving it out. Um, among a few other models in here that I have. So, this FBI is a replace one, which uh, is apparently what our one here wants to replace, but um, we won't let it. And uh, as you can see, there is actually up here, Orion up here, which is the add-on vehicle that I've done for the marked version of this vehicle that we want to put in. And when it opens up, as you can see, we flip that one. This one works perfectly fine in game um, as an add-on vehicle. I will show you everything to do with the vehicles that matter, the handling and car variations as well, um, to do with that one. So, without further ado, believe we can get started on the actual install so the first thing you want to do we'll chuck in the files into here we're not going to chuck them in like this though we need to rename them first so we'll rename them to something really uh, obvious so um orion for example would be unmarked orion that'll change those three in this one we have to rename separately because of the underscore high at the Bottom. So we'll just do that one quickly. Let's start East Belt Orion. Is that East Belt? Yes, that is. Okay, so UM Orion. Now these three here, apart from the XML, we want to drag and drop in. Remember to turn on edit mode. So drop those in, and down the bottom here, we've got our UM Orion. Okay, looks very nice. Pretty good. Um, yep, looks good. Definitely an Orion. About 400,000 polygons. Uh, that's why you need your game config set for like your increased amount of vehicles and also stuff with really high polygons, uh, really high poly counts. For example, I think, I think there's one in here. I can't remember what it is. Mm. 
possibly place three. Let me have a look. This one. That's definitely not it. Place three, I believe, has a high player count. Oh, well, 272,000 on this thing. But, um, yeah, there's definitely some here that have stupid high polygons that, uh, well, you wouldn't be able to run it if you didn't have your uh, game config replaced. Um, all right, so with that in, we've got our UM Orion in there. Uh, thankfully, with this one, it comes with an ELS file, so we can just drag and drop that into here. The thing with this one, I'll have to go through later and edit this one in the way I want it. So it is possible. It is possible that we don't have to use this one. And instead, we can use any of these ones and just carry it over, which I think I'm going to do. So let's uh, drag this one here. We'll make, uh, we'll make a copy of it here. We'll delete this one. Like that. And this one we'll rename to VM Orion, like so. So that will be exactly the same settings as this one here. Uh, the lighting will not change apart from the patterns that I've already preset in this one, which is exactly what we want. So XML files are not specific to the car. Uh, they are specific to ELS. So you can swap uh, ELS files and stuff. All they do is control you like your lights and the um, colors and how your sirens work with lights and preset patterns and all that. So that's all that does. So yeah like i just did there i've swapped this one here with one that already exists in the file so now all my lighting patterns will be the same as this one it'll just be an unmarked variant which i hope doesn't change too much but uh well i'm about to find out aren't i um and on with that heap adjuster stuff you've got the heap adjuster asi so you'll need script hook to run that um when we go into here Let's go into here and we'll drag that over here because I want to open up my um, hip adjuster here. Oh, the INI files one that you want. Now I've got mine set to 2000, so I know that definitely works. All right, now for the next part here, you also want to make sure that you've got ELS and all that good stuff installed. Um, as for actually installing the thing, what you want to do now, we're going to add it to trainers as well. So, for example, simple trainer, you've put the files in, they will not show up in simple trainer until you put the vehicles that matter in. And it's really quite simple, too. So, you want to go down is to your mods folder, update, update up. You have common data, or just put the full screen uh, levels. Excuse me, levels GDA five vehicles dot meta here. Edit. And here we go into this. Now this might look scary, but I can promise you it's really not that bad. What you want to do is go down to the bottom of not the bottom bottom of the document, but the bottom of all this big block here before it goes into the texture dictionaries. Which should be somewhere close to down here. Where am I? Freight car. No, we've still got a little bit to go. Um, tanker car. No, we we'll just scroll it down. Okay, here we go. We got all of these in here. We're gonna go up a bit. All right, here we go. Now we're at the bottom. <clears throat> Sorry, the actual texture relationships. Um, all right, so this one here we can actually just copy over. Yeah, so all the vehicles matter does as far as I know is establish a vehicle is in the game or it established that a vehicle exists and what the vehicle type is. So for example, this one is an emergency vehicle. You can literally do this one just by copying the um, the police T. Yeah, the police T file, copying it, and then thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all that, drop that in there. 
Now we don't have to change anything in here except for the first four lines. Now with that, it's going to be the model name which we want to change to UM Orion because that's what the YTF is. The TXD name you want to also change to the same thing because that's what the YTD of the um that's what the YTD of the model is. So UM Orion. The handling ID. Now basically you can either choose to have a custom handling ID which you have to chuck into handling.meta. However, because it's an emergency vehicle, we can literally just use the existing one of police. So that saves us a whole load of work right there. And one less file that we have to go into. The game name as well, we want to change to something more generic. So this one, I'm just going to make it unmarked Orin because that's what it is. And it's all that. Uh, the audio name hash here, you can also change to something. I'm going to rename this one to... Uh, police yeah so police because ah the most generic sound out there now you can literally hit save that establishes into simple trainer or whatever trainer that you use menu for example that uh a car exists and it's also got a handling line so it will spawn as is right now as an add-on vehicle which is pretty cool now I'm not sure how important it is, but the car variations is something that you want to do too. So you want to follow this here. So back to mods, we go to update. Uh, oops, not that one. Yeah, update. Exige 4 DLC packs. Uh, MP Christmas 2 DLC RPF common data. And we have the car variations that matter down here. Now this file is linked with the car calls that matter in the sense that is it establishes some stuff like your light settings, your siren settings, and like liveries and um, indices. I'm not sure what the in indices are. I'm pretty sure that oh yeah, they're they're colours. My bad. Um, and then whatever livery you have on. Uh, so the last one that I put in here was a Orion, funnily enough. So we're just gonna copy this line here. Uh, yeah, we're going to copy the Orion line here, copy that, scroll right to the bottom, and then just after this item line here, we want to paste that in, and then right at the top, you just want to change that to UM Orion. Um, our siren settings, I have changed it to the same one as a car similar to the original Orion, which was, I believe, uh, the normal police one which i think is a holden vf so it's the same kind of car it's got all the same lighting patterns and that so all i did was uh copy over oh no because i had to put in a custom one for something i can't remember what it was but uh yeah maybe the stinger i think maybe the stinger but i find that i started setting 13 works pretty well for what i need i don't know how to interpret the siren settings and that without looking through car calls but even then that's that's a whole different kind of thing altogether so i wouldn't mess with anything in here unless you know what you're doing and then towards the bottom of this as well is where you get all your sirens and stuff so it'd be great if someone could like translate this because this is how you create um lighting patterns so i i genuinely don't know so if anyone could uh help us out with that that'd be great but uh yeah don't change anything in the car calls just add that line into car variations depending on what you want it seems to work with fine for me with what i've done now that's essentially your replace vehicle added in as an add-on vehicle so we're going to go into gda now and uh well we're going to start it and uh, give it a go. All right. So now we're in game. I've got my trusty senior sergeant, Josh here. He's going to go down to the, uh, the um, garage down here and check out the new fleet of unmarked Toyota Orions that we have. Uh, I believe... Going into vehicle spawning, we want to go to added vehicles menu, and then over here we have the UM Orion that we put in. As you can see, that spawns in here. It's got the sound of the police 
um, one which is actually that VF Commodore right there you can see parked up uh, it has it sounds it's got its handling it's got its model it's also got its lighting which is exactly what we want and uh, with a minus a tint on the back window there we go let's fix that one um, Yep, that's fixed that one on the side lights as well. We've also got a sign. And yeah, here we go. So this is the replace vehicle added in as the add on vehicle. And it works. It works. And uh, definitely make sure that you've got your heap adjuster in. Uh, also, make sure you get your pack file and your game config in. Because uh, some of these, some of the models out there can be very high poly and they will crush your game. So uh, if you do follow the instructions along perfectly and your game still crashes, which I have experienced before, um, it's probably not something that you've done or I've taught wrong. It's probably something to do with the model itself uh, or the game or how the game handles the model, whether it's like two high polys uh, or that for any other vehicles that you've got in or something. I'm not entirely sure how that works but uh, I have had it before where I've installed a replaced vehicle as an add-on vehicle the same way I've done it today and the game just crashes it doesn't like it and taking it out the game works fine so uh, sometimes we'll experience that that's not something that I've taught wrong it's not something that you've done wrong if you follow it that's providing you followed this uh, entirely um, it's probably something to do with the model like I said. But uh, apart from that, there's really nothing else to uh, tell you guys. So um, I think this is it. Hopefully this uh, clears up any troubles that you have with installing replace vehicles as add-ons. And hopefully you can uh, expand your police fleet by uh, quite a lot. Yeah, without further ado, this will be the end of the video. If you want to see my police characters and fleet in action, you can... Find me on my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash hellcat 7 You can find me live most weekends. Uh, you can also join the Discord server link below to uh, also know when I go live and all that. And um, well, apart from that, thanks guys for uh, listening today. Like I said, if it's helped you in any way, shape, or form, then a like, a subscription, and video sharing would be uh, much appreciated. And uh, like I said, you can catch me live most weekends on Twitch. And uh, yeah, without further ado, thank you guys for coming out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.